Hi guys, Fricks and RC here. So I'll make a quick video update of uh, my mini crawler, the FTX Mini, oh, so Outback Mini 2.0 or Mini Outback 2.0, whatever you call it. Um, so I haven't done anything to the electrics um, to it. What I have done, uh, for those of you that have seen some of my previous vids, what a toy grade RC um, off Amazon or eBay, or whatever, purely for the army truck shell. Um, and it was perfect dimensions for it. Just had to drill a few holes. Um, I did note that it was hitting on the underside. So if you can see that, so you can see where I had to kind of dremel a bit out in between the cab and the, the trailer. But also, um, for those of you who have it, uh, the body posts come up from the rear. So I had to try and hack away at some, you know, just where the wheel arches are inside the flatbed to uh, put the post through. Um, so I've just done that. Um, what I have done is I've added some wheel weights. Um, really didn't have to do that, but I really, when I've been watching people's videos of folks who have done it, it really, really makes a difference even for something this small and I love it at the end of the day I love how the tires deform with the extra weight and it really does make it nice and easy so that's pretty much what I had been doing all this time um the next steps that I've done is I've got a roll cage so this is the roll cage for that Outback Mini FTX Mini Outback uh 3.0 um, so I've managed to get the roll cage for that and fit that in so it becomes a kind of, you know, it's not perfect. But then, you know, I mean, look at my ham-fisted attempt at all this. Um, what I want is fine. What you can do is you can roll this out and cover it so it's up and it really does look the nuts. So give me one sec, I'll pause this for a sec and I'll show you. So here you go. Um, this is something I got off eBay for a couple of quid. Um, it's not completely, uh, obviously, like proper canvas, so it does have holes in it. I think it's more something you would, you know, when you're a bit of camo netting, as it were. But, you know, it, it does the job. Um, so I can have it rolled up or I can have it out. So that's fantastic. I'm kind of quite happy with the way this thing looks now um it's got this shell came with a cabin uh thing is when i put the cabin it hits on the uh receiver esc inside uh which is why i'm not using the cabin but what i might do is i might put some windscreens in the front at least um just to give it a little bit more you know look but uh yeah uh, so this is now almost done I've got the lights at the bottom I might get another set of lights and just put them straight in here because I'm sick and tired of having to continually remove these ones at the bottoms and put them at top then you'll have a set of four lights as it were as opposed to just two um, but yeah I, I absolutely love this thing and this thing is going to be what is coming on holiday with me um, Definitely, because it's a nice, small, tiny thing, and it's a brilliant crawler for the price. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll make some more vids of this one now. Uh, now I've got it to the way I want, especially now I'm taking my canyon out as well. So it'll be good to see how this fares against uh, the bear moth. Um, I have a separate video that I would like to make. So let me just move this to one side. And that is over my new camera. Um, for those of you that watched my uh, tractor slash video recently, I tried to be too smart and ended up ruining it by driving it over it at high speed. Um, the weight of the roll cage, I had a v VG racing roll cage on the slash. That weight plus the slash uh, versus a GoPro, no contest. Um, can't use it, it's ruined. Um, can't when I turn it on it keeps cycling through the menus anyway my previous video explains what happened to that so I've got a new one uh, much much more cheaper affair a Casso V50 uh, from what I've seen videos online this is perfect for what I want 
mean, yes, I love my Grove Road, but I got it about three, four years ago, and I got it. It was still expensive, but I got it in a deal. Um, and now things have changed, and you can buy just about as good as stuff, but for you know, much, much cheaper or more affordable. Um, and seeing as all I'm doing is using it for RC and using it as a dash cam, um, that this is perfect. So I'll do, I'm not usually one for an unboxing video, but I'll do a quick run through uh, in the next segment about what it comes through. But anyway, um, so yeah, my Mini Outback 2 is, is ready to go. Um, and I have a new camera to film it all in. So, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, this is Friction RC saying ciao for now.